Well, from college quarterbacks signing million-dollar deals to gymnasts cashing in on social media, college athletics at the top has changed despite pushback. I take a look at how smaller schools have been impacted by name, image, and likeness. At the group of five level, um, we're, we're, we're still tr we're trying to compete in, in every aspect. Our first approach to this thing was, number one, we're not going to put our heads in the sand and go, well, we can't compete at that at this level. For schools like Louisiana Tech and others in the group of five ranks and below, name, image, and likeness, or NIL, is something that many didn't take into consideration when the law allowing student-athletes to make money on themselves was passed in 2021. Now, over a year later, schools like Louisiana Tech are adapting to the new landscape of college athletics. Bulldog baseball recruiting coordinator Cooper Fouts explains the difference between schools like Tech and those at the Power 5 level. At Louisiana Tech, we don't have a collective, so the biggest difference is there's not a, a large pool of money that um, at some places is divided up evenly within the collective, like everybody on the team is getting X amount of money that we've seen throughout uh, different schools have done that. At Tech, with no collective, it really is with our players specifically baseball players, um, based on their relationships within the community. One of those players that has taken full advantage of NIL for the baseball team is senior outfielder Phil Matulia, with one of his three deals being a part of Barstool Sports. They made a apparel of my face, my silhouette, hair and beard, and uh, with my number 12 on it. And uh, so it's got hoodies, jackets, sweaters and uh, shirts and um, I just I have that link in my bio and uh, so people can go and get those whenever they want. Many will tell you at the beginning of NIL being implemented things felt a bit chaotic but as Dr. Wood explains the school stepped in and streamlined the process for their student athletes. And as soon as July 1st came around it was uh, hey my DMs are open right and uh, and now thankfully we have a better platform for that right and because you know it, with our open doors marketplace that we have it at least allows uh, our brands and local partners to, to say, hey, what, what would it take to have somebody do a birthday shout out, do make an appearance at my store? And according to Dr. Wood, that marketplace has allowed for 15 of the 16 sports on campus to have at least one student athlete with an NIL deal, averaging about $2,000 per transaction. Anna Law Robertson, she's a junior forward for the women's basketball team and a Rustin native, and she says that she feels the local aspect of NIL rings true at Louisiana Tech. We get to see multiple faces during our games and stuff, and like we see people in the crowds, and we get to know their kids as well, so it's more of a personal basis. So it's not like it's just random people. Like we get to see people day in and day out. The same sentiment for the city of Ruston holds true with other athletic teams as well. And I think that's just a, another great um, attribute of where we're at in Ruston and how they've really welcomed our players and certainly support our players. Robertson believes that NIL does not just help student athletes when they're in college, but also when they graduate. Not only to build your name in athletics, but to build your name also off outside of the court or the field. And it allows us to make money for ourselves, or it allows us to have these brand deals with other people and that we can also keep outside of athletics. But at the end of the day, while being able to make money on yourself is a perk of college athletics now, the main goal for everyone has stayed the same. We've been really focused on like winning here lately. Reporting at Louisiana Tech for local news that matters, I'm Stephen Pappas.